Hey folks, Colin here. I'd like to introduce you to Chester and Little Ruby. Chester has been wandering off the property and we've got 10 acres here. And so we've just installed a radio pet barrier all the way around and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how much wire you might need. And this little guy, when she is a little bit older and starts to get a bit more adventure, she's also gonna be trained on the same uh, system. Now, what we've done is we put a chart below where you can see how much wire you're going to need for different areas of properties. Now, as you know, all of the kits come with uh, 100 metres of wire in the kit. Uh, if you've got a standard size property, you'll probably find 100 metres is not going to go very far. And then if you follow the chart around this property, we use pretty much spot on 900 metres of wire around 10 acres. So Colin, are you ready to go? Okay, Cole, thanks for that. Is it over to me or over to Colin? Uh, over to me. Alrighty, crossing live to Colin. Thanks, folks. Here we go. Folks, sorry about that. What I'm going to tell you a little bit about is um, how much wire to consider. So just remember, when you're going around your property, you've got to start at the transmitter and you have to run your wire out to the fence. And so, and then when you go around the property, you've got to come back to the transmitter as well. So allow for double wire in that section. Also, as well, uh, Colin, who's telling who about the uh, expansion joints? That's Colin. All right. When, when are we flicking to Colin? All right. I've just got two minutes, mate. Don't don't pressure me. Don't pressure me. Okay. So then we're going to run the wire down the fence. Allow for the fact that you're going to come across a gateway and you have to go down the fence to the gateway. Then you've got to go across the gateway and up and then the expansion joints will come back in as well. So if you're going to do wire uh, half an acre, you'll need at least 200 metres of wire. One acre will be 100 extra, so 300 metres in total. And have you already told them to get a 100 metres in the kit, mate? Good, good. And then uh, 400 metres will do two and a half. 500 metres will do around about four. When you get to five acres, I would always add an extra roll. Um, so consider getting a little bit extra just to cover you for extensions later on if you want to. All right, Cole, no worries. Back over to you, Colin. There's an interesting thing that I'm just gonna cross live to Colin, just see if he's ready for us. And he's gonna explain a little bit about something you can put inside your uh, system as you run it around the property uh, to make sure you don't get any break. No, Colin, other Colin. Yeah, thanks for that, Cole. I'll take over from here and back to you soon. All right, thanks, mate. Bye. All right, folks, just a shortcut in this, uh, just a bit of a recess. Come across an interesting area when you're deciding how much wire you're going to use. Allow for things like this. Put in a little bit of expansion. And remember, you have to go, when you come to a gateway, you've got to go down with the wire inside the property, across the gateway, and back up onto the fence. That's so going to take up a little bit more wire. This is a great little area to explain something called expansion joints. So if you're going around a property and uh, you've got one long string of wire, tight wire will break. If you need to do a join, and you'll see that video before, you can do what's called expansion joints. Now, if you're on properties and you've got kangaroos coming in, just remember if they're squeezing under the fences, you can do an expansion joint just above that area. We've come across an area here where the kangaroos are obviously gonna come in and out. So before this area and just here, we'll do an expansion joint to allow for the wire to separate and have lots of slack if something gets caught up in it or you need some slack to do a join. So what you simply do is just grab off an extra 30, 40 centimeters of wire do a fold in the wire, it's not going to interfere with our radio frequency. And then a simple cable tie on one end, like a little bow tie. And if anything pulls on that, that bow tie is going to let go. And tidy it up a bit. There we go. If anything pulls on that, that bow tie is going to let lots of slack and things can move in and out and they won't get caught on the wire. So that'll save you a lot of work. Only uses up a little bit of extra wire. And in my opinion, well, we dug this wire across here. It's easier to let the kangaroos come through the property than try to stop them because they're going to break your fences. So we're going to remove this and make it easy for them to come through so that they know that this is a path they can come through and they don't have to start destroying your dog friends. Okay, Cole, back to you. All right, thanks, Cole. We'll carry on. <laughs> All right, see you, folks. Okay, folks, I hope you uh, like that message from Cole there. That was pretty good. Now, um, 
This little lady's going to be trained with later on. We're going to get it stuck in uh, to training Chester. I'm going to get a few kisses on on national television, international television, hopefully. Now, uh, when you run the wire around the property, I like to not bury the wire and leave it on the fence. I won't go into the quality of our wire and start talking about the high density polyethylene coating, which has a 20 year UV rating, the seven strand copper core, uh, which makes it really, really strong. And uh, the fact that you can leave our wire above the ground uh, and it doesn't need to be buried. If you get a break underground, you pretty much got to rip the whole thing up or replace all the wire. Gee, I'm loving this. Okay, so have a look at the chart. Click on the wire diagram pictures below to have a look at the diagram and explanations of how they work and that you can go through to the other pages. If you'd like to see little dogs like Chester, Chester, come on, little dogs like Chester being trained on the system and experiencing the, um, the, the radio signal or the collars for the first time, Click on the link, fill in the form. You can go through to the private training videos and you can learn a whole heap more in the membership section. All right, we'll see you again. It's goodbye from, from Ruby and goodbye from Colin and Chester over there. See you, folks.